Born on January 23, 1920, Charles Mugane Njonjo was Kenya's first post-independence attorney general, serving from 1963 to 1979. Njonjo was the son of the late Josiah Njonjo, a colonial paramount chief and collaborator of the British rule. In 1939, Njonjo was admitted to King's College, a privileged school in East Africa. After completion of his secondary school at Alliance High School, Njonjo would be enrolled at Fort Harare University in South Africa, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in English and South African law. Njonjo graduated in 1946, but his quest to study law and be admitted to the bar hit a snag as this was forbidden to Africans. He was only the second Kenyan African barrister after arguing Scott Deck, who had been called to the bar in January 1951 at Lincoln's Inn. Njonjo worked in London for two years and returned to Kenya at the end of 1954. He then went into state law office and on March 1st, 1955, he was appointed Assistant Registrar General. In June 1956, he was posted to Mombasa where he worked as the Deputy Official Receiver and later Crown Counsel. In 1963, he was appointed Attorney General, taking over from Eric Newton Griffith Jones QC. Griffith Jones had been Kenya's Attorney General and Minister for Legal Affairs since May 1st, 1955. Njonjo became Attorney General in independent Kenya under President Jomo Kenyatta. Njonjo married Margaret Bryson at 51 years in 1972, with whom he had three children. I didn't know that there are... In 1980, popularly referred as the Duke of Kabetishire, Njonjo was selected for a newly created cabinet position by former president, the late Daniel Arap Moy, as Minister for Home and Constitutional Affairs during unexpected cabinet reshuffle. After midwifing the power transition after the death of Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, the attempted coup of 1982 would make a turning point for his relationship with Moi after he decided to purge his party and cabinet of figures he believed wanted him out of power. Chief among them would be Njonjo and powerful internal security minister Gigi Karioki. He was dragged through a judicial inquiry which concluded that he had abused office and had tried to take over power from Moi. He was forced to resign, effectively destroying his political career. <laughs> Charles Njonjo entered into parliament in April 1980 after retiring as attorney general at the age of 60, a post in which he had served for 17 years. In 1998, Njonjo returned to public life and was appointed chairman of the Kenya Wildlife Service. In October 2006, there were indications that he was attempting a comeback in Kenyan politics, including his show of support for Raila Odinga. Martin Opio, K24 TV.